In this tutorial, we'll show you how to export your photos into final formats such as TIFF and JPEG. The first part of the tutorial demonstrates the simplest way to export your photos, and then we will move on to a more advanced workflow with more features. Skip ahead to the latter part if you want to. I'd like to export these four photos to JPEG. I'll select them all and choose Export on the toolbar. My selected photos are now shown in the browser on the right hand side, whilst the export viewer is showing you how your images will look after export, so it's easy to tweak the settings of your export recipes. Capture One is preloaded with a number of export recipes here. As I said earlier, I'd like to export to JPEG, so I'll activate the recipe by checking the box here. As this is the first time I've exported from Capture One, I'll need to define a default export location, which all the export recipes can use if I wish. I'll go ahead and choose my Pictures folder. To change the default export location at any point, just click here. I would like these photos to go into their own folder within my Pictures folder, so they're better organised. Format in the naming tool is currently set to image name, meaning the exported photo will simply share the same name as shown here. Format and size shows me the settings of the currently chosen export recipe. Note if I select another export recipe, the settings change. Finally, I'll click export. And here's how it looks in the Finder. Don't forget you can activate more than one export recipe by checking the adjacent box for a simultaneous export. Now let's move on and see some more advanced options. To reveal all the available export tools, check the Show All Options box here. This enables more features to key into broader workflows. For this example, let's make a 2500 pixel wide optimized JPEG for a web gallery, also with a watermark. First, I'll make a new export recipe by clicking plus here and give it a recognizable name. I would like to give this recipe a unique location and not use the catalog default. So I'll pick one here and select my Dropbox. Note that each export recipe can either use the catalog or session default, have a unique location, or be placed within the same folder as the original. To prevent the photos getting mixed into the top level of my Dropbox, I use a combination of a text and token, so they're nicely organized. Adding a forward slash means Capture One will make a further subfolder after the My Website folder. I'd like to automate this to today's date. Click here to choose a subfolder token. I'll filter to the date tokens and pick the current date and change the format to my liking. I'm happy to overwrite any photos that were previously exported to make sure the folder only contains the newest edits, so I'll change the option here to overwrite. I'd also like to give any photo using this recipe a unique name. Again, I'll use another token. This time, recipe name. And separate the tokens with an underscore. As I said earlier, I want to resize this JPEG to 2500 pixels. So first of all, I need to change the format to JPEG. I'll bring the quality down a little from 100 and change my ICC profile to sRGB. And finally change the scale to a width. Of 2500 pixels. The export viewer is continually proofing to the settings in the format and size adjustments tool. That's why the image changed size when I adjusted the scaling. 
make sure you're viewing at 100% to visualize exactly how your photos will look when exported. Note that when I highlight another recipe with a different scaling, like this one here, the viewer changes to represent that. In the Adjustments tool, I'd like to add some output sharpening for screen, as scaling a photo can negatively impact the sharpness. I'm happy with my format and adjustment settings, so I'll zoom back out so I can position my watermark correctly. I'm going to use an image-based watermark. I want the opacity to be 100% and I'll reposition the logo by choosing the Move Watermark Cursor tool here. I'll make it a little smaller too. I don't want the camera metadata embedded into the JPEGs, so I'll uncheck that option. Finally, a quick browse through the photos means I can check how the watermark looks and I'm ready to export. A helpful summary is shown here, and I can begin the export process by clicking here. And here's how it looks in the Finder. You can see the original folder created, and then the date folder based on the token, and then the exported photos with their name modified to also reflect the export recipe name. To export more photos using the previous settings, simply click on the arrow next to the export icon here, and choose export with previous settings. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Command or Control plus D. This skips the export dialog and starts exporting immediately using the previously selected recipes. Finally, if you prefer to have access to export tools as a tool tab, Click here and add the Export Tool tab. However, export recipes won't be proofed automatically like they are in the exporter. To enable this, go to View, Recipe Proofing.